Now, Mark Terry is a very hard character to track down. Now, why is that? That's because it depends on canon. Because she also appears in DCAU tie-in comics and the Arkham Game Universe tie-in comics. With some places distributing those appearances as the same character as in the mainstream comics. And that's because she's usually just a cameo character in mainstream comics. Except for every so often. She's also come by March Hare, but that would just randomly change out of nowhere. March Harriet would debut in Detective Comics issue 841 from 2008. Her name is March Harriet Pratt and was named March Harriet at the time, and is a henchwoman for the Mad Hatter. She would be a part of the Wonderland gang who goes on a robbing spree, and then would have a final fight with Batman at the new music bark. However, March Harriet would be defeated by Batman pretty easily and was arrested. This was fun fact, her only appearance pre-Flashpoint. She seems to just be Mad Hatter's Harley Quinn, which isn't a bad idea considering who Harley Quinn would turn into. That is an extremely popular character. But March Hare didn't seem to really catch on considering the fact she wouldn't return for a while, as in years. March Hare would be re-explored as a character during Rebirth. This time around we actually learned her origin, that she was raised in East London where she would meet a young lady named Lily. The two would fall in love and they would become jewel robbers in the state, and eventually escorts. But during a rather eventful night, the girls will be shot by Warren security after a job goes wrong. And when Lily dies, Harriet survives after being swooned back to hell by none other than the Mad Hatter, and becomes his faithful henchwoman as March Harriet. They would eventually get revenge on Warren security by killing their entire staff. That is cold. She would make a cameo here and there afterwards, and that would really be it, except for occasional one-liners when we see her with the Mad Hatter. In the DCAU tie-in comics, The Batman Adventures Continues, she seems to now have electric ears, along with more or less having more lunar sanity. It's unclear if this version of the character is canon to the actual DCAU or just these DCAU tie-in comics. The reason why I say that is because a lot of the tie-in comics are just non-canon to the actual TV shows themselves. But it does seem canon, at least it does so far until Season 3 comes out of these comics. Therefore, I guess that means Marcharia is canon to the DCAU. And in the Arca books, she is present but is given a small role where the Wonderland gang kidnaps Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Vicky Vale. However, Batman saves them and by proxy takes out the gang along with Harriet. Like I said, small role. However, great comic. She also appears ever so briefly in the Lego Batman movie as one of the obscure villains, and even got her own minifigure with a Tommy gun. In the latest telling of the character, that being the Rebirth comics, I think the character actually comes across very interesting. However, one might argue she seems very much like Harley Quinn in many ways. They're both upset with their boss. Another is both of them are a bit quirky. Both are the lead female henchwoman of their boss's gangs. Both characters are even bisexual. However, where the two differ is her morality. Harley has always had a part of her that seems like there might be good in her. And that ended up being right. Now she's a part of the Bat family. And well, yes, there's always been that darkness in her too, she's a complex character. Well, Marcharia, on the other hand, is more one-sided when it comes down to being a villain. While her origin I thought was very deep and interesting, the character seems to just instantly rebound to being a serial killer and has no real care in the world about it. As we didn't really see her kill anybody until she killed the entire company of Warren Security with the Mad Hatter, which is a big step up from just being a jewel robber. Regardless, I do like the character and I hope she returns. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!